Hey everybody, Eagle Run 2 3 here. We are in absolutely no position to be starting a new build, but yet we are starting a new build. So, in this video, I'm going to go over the components of our next 556 build. This one is really fun, and I think you're going to like it. Same with our last couple of 556 builds. Our next couple of 556 builds are starting out with budget components and we're upgrading a few things along the way. As with any of these projects, you can pick and choose some of the things you like and don't like and make them ready to fit your needs and your budget. Very easy to customize these things and spend a little bit more on some budget parts or upgrade some things along the way. This is just going to be a little example. All right, let's start with the upper and the lower. Whoa, look at that. We have our carbon fiber unbranded AR. Wow. So this is a graphite gray and carbon fiber with graphite. Gosh, that is so stinking light. Unbelievable. Wow, those two really click together. That's a great matchup. Okay, I think that looks really cool. Let me show you the contrasting colors for the grip, the stock, and the handguard. Oh my goodness, that is so great. Okay, we've got a stinger handguard. This is the super lightweight one. It's all drilled, uh, deleted Picatinny here in the middle, and it's a 12 incher. So saving some weight on that with the carbon fiber, this should be a pretty lightweight build. All right, let me show you the grip. Oh, we've got a Cold War gray Kung Fu grip from Dive Free Company. That's amazing. Oh, I can't wait to mock this up. Elfman Tactical, little extreme minimalist lightweight stock. It just slides on the buffer tube. You lock it down. It stays there. That's really exciting. I can't wait to show you guys this mocked up. But let's first talk about some of the other components. I showed how to do this on a short. And while we have this buffer tube here, uh, let's go ahead and take care of the inside of this. This is a little dingleberry hone. It probably looks like something you're familiar with from the automotive industry. They have a size that works perfect for the buffer tube. And this is just a great way to smooth all of that out. I've noticed that it does make a pretty big difference with that spring sliding in and out there. Once you've got all the little burrs removed, it just makes the inside of that perfectly smooth. So that's something I've been playing with here recently as I try to improve my build quality. All right, there's our stock, looking good. For our barrel, we have a PVD Chameleon Rainbow coated barrel, and this is a pencil barrel. It is the Match Series from Faxon, 223 Wild with a one and eight twist. And this is the upgraded 416R steel. There's a Faxon logo. Now, I really struggled with what to do for the muzzle device. I can't have a black one on there. You could kind of see the black just wouldn't be the right choice for that. So we've started working with a company called Anarchy Outdoors, and they provided quite a few parts for this build. When I noticed that they had this high polish titanium so light, it kind of fit the theme here, kind of a lightweight upgraded budget gun. This is very nice, and these are not cheap, but I think it's going to look perfect on here, and it's got some porting on it that I bet I can clock so that those are all straight up on there. So there it is with the muzzle device on there. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. We can always change that if we don't like it. Unfortunately, I am gonna to have to go black on the gas block. I'm having a hard time finding even a chrome one or a stainless steel one because this is a 0.625 journal. There's a lot of offerings in the 750, but the 625 doesn't have quite as many choices as I thought. All right, we're just kind of mocking this together. That's what that end is gonna look like. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Of course, this is all Jesse James Cold War Gray, and then that off black graphite color. 
Okay, there it is with the stock. I'm super excited about this. That is phenomenal. All right, let's go over some of the other parts. We're going to run a Breek Arms Warhammer charging handle, the best budget charging handle on the market. They are not as expensive as some of the super high-end brands, and I've got them on three or four builds. They run just perfectly fine. Uh, definitely my recommendation for an upgraded charging handle. And from a Trigger Tech, we've got a upgraded safety selector. Nothing wrong with running the safety selector that comes in your parts kit. I'm going to try to do some chrome nickel boron colors on here. Uh, we've got a WMD guns. This is an NIB magazine catch. I feel like that was supposed to be chrome, but it's black. We'll look at that later. We've got a bolt catch also in NIB. And our pins are going to be from Anarchy Outdoors. And they sent these to us, and these are actually titanium. So we've got some big-time upgraded pins here. Super lightweight titanium. It'll look great right there and there. The trigger's going to be an Elfman Tactical Apex. It is on its way. I have a shipping notification for that, so it should be here soon. Let's see. What else are we missing? Oh, the optic. So I have chosen the Mediator from Gideon Optics. Done a couple of Gideon things before, but uh, was talking to them at SHOT Show, and they agreed to send out one for us to test, and I've been saving it for this build. This is going to look really great on there, I think. Okay, it goes that way. So that's the other side. All right, so it'll go like that on there. I think that is going to be what I'm looking for. This is going to be great. What else am I missing? Oh, we need a... Okay, we need to figure out what we're doing for our dust cover. We need to get the Faxon PVD bolt carrier group in. They've been sold out for several months. I've had this barrel for like six months. I've been waiting on them to get the bolts to come back in. I may have to go with a lightweight bolt. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but at least it will match. But um, we'll see what they have in stock. And then I guess I need a forward assist as well. I kind of forgot about that. That Elfman trigger is going to have a little red shoe right there, which will be the only red. Uh, we can see if that bothers us or we can make a change on that later. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm super excited about this. I hope you are too. Let me know your thoughts below. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.